For season seven, I'm doing something a little different. I felt with everything I'm doing with my writing workshop live streams, as well as kind of running myself dry on new creative tips, I felt it was best to once again open the floor to guest hosts. When I put out the invitation towards the end of season six, one of my previous guest hosts and interviewees jumped at the chance. So please welcome author and HR specialist Winifred Summer as she provides the first creative writing tips of season seven. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Winifred Summer, the HR darling, darling HR professional that you can talk to about what's going on in the workforce. So today I'm actually not here to talk about, you know, work and stuff. I'm an HR professional, so I love to talk about the workforce, work culture, all that good stuff. But today I want to talk about writing because... I'm also an author, and I wrote this amazing book called The Toxic Job Playbook, all right? And it has really changed not just my life, but the lives of many. And I know that there are a lot of people out there that want to write books, uh, specifically nonfiction books that connect to something that they've experienced in their life or someone that they know has experienced and they want to share information, um, whatever that information is, you know, that's totally up to you. But today I'm going to get through a couple steps that could help you take your idea and turn it into a book. Some very important things to consider. So if you're ready, uh, get your pen, your pencil, whatever you want to write with, and let's get into it. Step number one, your why, right? Most of you probably would figure that that's the place to start. Why do you want to write this? But also, why are you the person to write this? Um, what about this experience that you've had or that somebody that you know has had, what about it is worth sharing and why should people listen to you, right? When they pick up this book um, or they find this ebook and they say it's written by fill in the blank, fill in your name, what is it about you? Like the about the author section, right? When people, because you want to do your research on the person. I think that's one of the differences between fiction and nonfiction. Oftentimes with nonfiction, we want to know a little bit about this person that feels that, you know, they should be the voice uh, of whatever the subject matter is. So when you're thinking about your why, don't just think about why you want to write this, but also think about why you are the best person to do it. So that is step number one. Step number two, what are the experiences? What happened? What are the things that happened that you want to touch on? Um, I think when it comes to nonfiction, some people don't really concentrate on the idea of storytelling because even though it's nonfiction and maybe you are just teaching somebody how to do something, these are the steps. This is what you need to do. It still has to be shared in a way that makes people get into it, right? Makes it a, a page turner. It still needs to have some kind of appeal that connects to people. So I really want you to think about what it is you're sharing and how to still share it in a way to where it's not just informative, but it is also something that will connect to people so much so that they're going to want to share it with others who are searching for similar information. Step number three, what are your goals? What is the journey supposed to look like? Before people are reading this book, where are they? Where is their headspace? What is it that they're looking for? What is it that they need? And what is it that your book has to offer? So they start out here wanting said information. You provide said information. And after they finish reading this book, what are they supposed to gain? What is the goal? Is the goal understanding? Is it wisdom? Is it some sort of uh, layout, some kind of map, some kind of structure, some kind of instruction? Like, what is it? What are they supposed to get out of your book? I think that <laughs> it's something that, to be quite honest, not everybody thinks about. When I wrote my book, I just was getting some stuff off of my chest. And I realized as I was getting stuff off of my chest and kind of trying to help people who are in similar experiences uh, do the same, my goal was essentially in my book 
to let people know that what they were experiencing is not okay and it's not your fault and there is a way out. There is an, another side. And that ultimately was the purpose of my book was to bring hope. And I didn't necessarily realize that when I got started writing about toxic work culture. So it's really great for you to think about that a little earlier on. What is going to be the journey in your book and what is the end goal that they're supposed to get out of it? So write down uh, your goals. It's very important. I think we're on step four. We're on step four. <laughs> Read other books, research other books, not because you want to copy, but because you want to get a feel for what the people are already consuming. You want your work to be unique. You want your work to be something that maybe sheds uh, sheds light on something that is connected to the person that you are, you are introducing people to your work. And beyond this one project, depending on what's going on, they may come back looking for more books. They may come back looking for, for more writing. They may want to feature you on a podcast or you know write about you in an article. So you need to make sure that you are following the best format um, that you can, uh, that you are creating something to a particular level for a particular audience. And sometimes we're not aware of what types of books uh, people are looking for, like what's selling, what's trending. Although you don't need to subscribe to that, it is good to be aware of what is in the market um, so that you can find a way for you to stand out of the bunch. <laughs> and so I hope this was helpful. This was, you know, rather short and I know I talk really fast, um, but these are all things that knowing what I know now, I wish I knew a little earlier when I was going through my process of writing a nonfiction book. For me, it kind of flowed and I was like deep into um, the toxic work kind of experiences. So I kind of had these feelings like I was in my feels and stuff was just coming out, coming out, coming out. And then after the fact, I was like, hmm, let me think about like this layout. Let me think about um, how this book can possibly position myself, which it ended up being positioning myself as a thought leader and an HR expert. And it catapulted me into in different areas, which I'm so grateful for. So when you are creating your nonfiction work, I think it's important to consider those different uh, steps that I laid out for you. And I wish you well. So thank you so much for coming in on this video. Again, my name is Winifred Summer. If you want to learn a little bit more about me, check me out at winifredsummer.com. And that's all I got. Thank you so much. Take care. A big thank you goes out to Winifred for being this season's first Creators Corner guest host. Actually, she's the first guest host for the segment ever, so kudos to her. I think she's going for the trifecta because she's been she's won uh, you know a Writers Award for being an author, for being a top ten host. Anyway, if you'd like to connect with her on social media or get a copy of her book, then you can find those links again down in the video description.